Okay, invisible bay. Well, not invisible, but hydraulic base. Not hydraulic, thermal. What the fuck am I even talking about? Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going back to this, which will take us through to this thing. Which, yeah. Which leads into here, which has a bunch of shit, which, yeah. And I want to go... So I want to go into the ice temple. There's a thing to melt there. And there's something to melt in Fendrana shorelines, and that's pretty much it for Fendrana. And then there's a thing in Talon. Now what? What do we got? Unique phase on. Okay, so back in the phase on mines. On mobile source? Yeah, phase on mines. Okay. Oh, okay. Elite quarters. That is very close to where our little teleport goes to. Interesting. But there's two entrances to this, and they're both very close. Okay. Well, this goes to here. Where's the red go from? Yeah, the red goes from here. So do I just take my little shortcut to go right to where this is? Or do I go around the long way once? I mean, that's... We're not doing that right now, so I don't have to worry about it right now. Find that spot. Yeah, I'm in the observatory. Hello! I'm hearing vibrations, and I don't know why. Do the observatory make that sound? I'm just hearing... <laughs> These things don't show up on anything. These robots are so invisible to pretty much all technology that you have, it's ridiculous. None of the other uh, visors actually expose them very well. Alright, open. Load, please. Thank you. I mean, I'm just leaving at this point. I'm not even dealing with you. I'll let you all live. Don't worry. I'm just leaving. I was just leaving. Oh, wait. You all kill. You sentient ball of energy, you. I like how they can't even chase me through the door. Well, they don't even have the ability to chase me through here and actually shoot me. How do they open their own doors, actually? How do they open these doors? Hello? Watch me care. <laughs> on higher difficulties, I'm guessing I couldn't just waltz through areas like this, but I'm on the lowest difficulty, so fuck it, I can waltz through areas like this. <laughs> uh, well, I guess not, because the some of them met, uh, some of them later. Oh, right, I'm back outside now. Oh, hello. So, yeah, later on, there's the troopers that have mimicked my wave guns, so... I'm guessing they have the ability, like, I'm guessing these little shots that these guys are letting off probably open up these doors as well. And it's, it's just the, do the space pirate doors and the, um, Chozo Ruins doors are identical. They're the same, like, they're the same door. So, it just makes me go, well, I'm guessing their technology is to shed. I'm guessing they took it off the Chozo. I'm guessing? It doesn't look like the space pirates went through Chozo Ruins at all. I mean, maybe the space pirates put up these doors throughout all the different places, but I'm not sure. I'm sure if I looked at the logbook entry for the door, it'll tell me whether it's pirate technology or anything, which I'm going to do that right now, because I'm on the top. No. Nope. I'm on the topic. Let me look at it. Logbook. Uh, research. I missed something on research really early. Uh, locked door. Do oh, no, it's a different type of door. Wait, well, it's just normal doors. Is that what I missed? Oh, I've missed ultra missiles. Have I seen that before? And I, I keep probably picking it up and it's just, yeah. Missile lock door. It doesn't actually say what type of technology the doors are. I don't even think, no yeah, normal doors aren't even scannable anyway, so. Telling me. Not important, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we're back into the Oh, hello. <laughs> Bounces off. Hello. Did I scan these ones? Yeah, there's normal scarabs. I was wondering if they were different colored than normal scarabs. To be... Oh, these are ice scarabs. I fuck it. Bam. Ice scarabs. I mean, they're, they're, they look a different color, but they might just be the lighting of the area. It's hard to say. Uh, so what have we got? Oh, Ice Ruins is nothing here. No, so it's in Fendrana Shorelines, 
and the Chozo Temple. And those were the only two things. Okay, so we're actually just leaving here. I was actually just leaving Shigoth. Yeah, there's no more babies left to kill here. I can't see how much the babies died in my plasma beam. Oh no, yeah I can. I totally can. Hello. They die pretty hard to it. Sorry babies, but for science. Can you tell that between the start of this LP and now I've started playing Monster Hunter? <laughs> Has that, is, is that an obvious detail of, look at me wildly and indiscriminately kill everything that's next to me. Hmm, I wonder if someone's been playing a game where you go around and violent, violently and indiscriminately kill everything. For science! <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it. Everyone can agree with me that I nailed it. So I was melting the mouth of this thing, right? Because it's frozen over. Pretty sure the scan entry said I could do that. Pretty sure they did. Not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure. Die, please. <laughs> uh, me just shouting at something to just go, Oi, die. Just, uh, again, Monster Hunter. I love that game. Actually, well, by the time this video comes out, a uh, video, I'm gonna talk about the time this video comes out, I'm pretty sure by the time I've recorded this video, so I've come out for Monster Hunter. I'm pretty sure you all know that I've started playing Monster Hunter. Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, video went up a bit today, I think, actually. I think the first video of Monster Hunter went up today. So yeah, you know I'm recording it, because the videos are going up for it. I like Monster Hunter, it's a good game, and I'm enjoying it a lot, and like, I'm pumping a lot of hours into it. Okay, so I believe I was melting this thing's mouth. Yeah, they're frozen in place. Oh, I missed scanning this thing. A shell of ice encased in the water basin. The water is or or originated from the thing's mouth. Okay. Melt! Hey! Oh, okay. I was expecting it to spit out more water, but no, it's just giving me a thing to offer gifts into. Okay. Oh, I just blew that open. Okay. Thanks. I was really expecting water to just come out. Holy shit, an artifact! Fuck yeah! Is this the one of the invaders and I'm just an idiot? No, this is Artifact of Sun. Hell yeah, an artifact before we even got the hint for it. I'm curious what the hint even was for this now. Because <laughs> we never found out. Well, I guess we could say it when we go back and drop off all the artifacts. Hey! Artifact acquired. Hell yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Big jumpies, big jumpies. Such a big jumpies that we're going to go wee! Tonk. Hey, you don't get stunned for a second if you jump off uh, big things with um, mothballs, as I just learned. Because if you jump off really high and just land on your feet, you go, uh, and you stop for a second. Don't take damage, but you go, uh, and stop for a second. But, do it like that, it doesn't even matter. These things tend to scan them with something, all right? Invisible naked eye. Oh. So I, think, I feel this is the only room I've ever seen them, and it asks you to track them with x-ray. They don't look any more visible in X-ray than anything else. Confused. I swear this is the only room that they've been in, just overhead, and they've never done anything beyond that. <laughs> anyway, it... That one actually kind of melted, because it didn't just shatter immediately. Boom! Missile expansion. More missile expansions. Okay. So that is... Fendrana Shorelines, and the Temple of Fendrana. Okay. Um, the only things left are the Chozo Artifacts that we've got hints for, which, what do we have hints for that I quote-unquote can get currently? I think there's just the main... So there's this, which I've got no idea. There's this, which is further in the mine, so we've got to get there further anyway. Alright, okay, so on the way back to the Mines, we've got to do this. We've got to go back to where we got the x-ray thing from. Uh, if we don't know that one, we got that one. The Hall of the Elders, which we're going back to. Okay, so there's only... Yeah. We've got most of what we can do for those things. Uh, what was I... I came back here for a reason. Alright, there's a save point here. Might as well. If I pass save points, I'll just stop by. 
Actually, I just saved cut like three rooms back. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. We're, we're here. We're here. We might as well save. I, I'm taking that approach a lot of I'm here. I might as well do this thing. That is kind of useless. Oh, now you're pissed off in a way. Hello. You know what? Fendrano is the land of peace, as I've done a couple times. What are those flying to me as I was jumping through? Jeez. Maybe the first time those things have ever hurt anyone in a playthrough. All they do is pilot that one room swimming in circles, or swimming through the air, I guess. That's not phrase. In circles, it's gone beep, 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 chirp, 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 and they don't do anything beyond that. <laughs> and I don't know if I've even seen them in any other rooms. And their description is, they do that and they're fast. You better track them with x-ray, which you get hours upon hours upon hours after seeing them, and you never fight them. In, like, you never actually confront them. So I'm curious as to why that's even a, said to be a thing. <laughs> it's just confused. Arms uncomfortable in there. Okay, so we're going back this way. Uh, we're going to the exit for the Chozo Overworld, which I believe that was quick. So yeah, straight ahead, right? Yeah, straight ahead, straight ahead, we get to here. Above that elevator when we get back is where our big thing is. And then we'll get our last thing that we're gonna get right now before the, I uh, know, cause we're gonna go back to the Hall of Elders. Which, no, no, it would make sense to go back to the Hall of Elders. Cause near the Hall of Elders, yeah, near the um, Hall of Elders is where the elevator is that leads to the part of Chozo Overworld, uh, sorry, Talon Overworld, that actually has the um, Laugh Grove near it, which we need to re-examine anyway. So, no, that actually does make sense. <laughs> I was going to say, should we do that later? We'll be closer to it later, but no. It is, if we take the path, it can actually be on our way. So, no, that actually works. Well, at least this adventure into these areas, into the, all these previous shit that we've done. Does this hurt you? It does! It hurts you a lot. I don't know why it's fire, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Big jumps. So yeah, this adventure into all these previous areas, at least it wasn't totally useless. I was worried that we were going to spend however many episodes backtracking to all these previous areas just to have more missiles slash power bombs, but no, it has actually worked out quite a lot in our favor of, look, we're going back through all of these areas. We got, I believe, have we picked up one or two artifacts since starting here? We got that one there, the sun one. Did we get any others? I am now forgetting. I feel like we did. I feel there's a second one we got somewhere, but I don't remember what. Because we didn't get the one in the tower. We got the Artifact of Sun from that thing I just melted. Did I... Have I got another one since leaving... The, um... Thing? <laughs> I'm being very descriptive here. Since leaving Bears on Mines, have we gotten one or two? I don't even fucking remember. I feel like we've gotten two, but I can't remember. Ugh. My memory's great. Kill the shit out of you. Cause I can! Cause I can. Kill all you. As I said, Monster Hunter. But Fendrana, I'm still peaceful in. Until I get to an ice world in Monster Hunter, I start killing things there. And then I'll associate ice with death and destruction. Then things in Fendrana will die. I was about to say, if we ever go back to Fendrana. But we have to, because I missed the, the thing there on the tower. Because I'm an idiot. I'm going to feel so stupid when it's just, oh yeah, you just have to run again on this one spot. And I'll be like, fuck! We okay, back. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Jumpy jump. Hey, hey, hey. No pokies. Oh, god. <laughs> it just melts everything. This plasma beam's great. I wonder if there's any enemies that can't be hurt by other weapons that can be hurt by this. Now I'm confused. Oh. Right, I have extra respect, so I... Uh, oh, right there. <laughs> Hi there, platforms. I wonder if you could use the rain to work out where they are, if you didn't have that. 
Hey. And just over there. Whee! Oh, okay. Missile expansion? Okay, but... There's a door here, too. Oh. Where I am was meant to be hidden. <laughs> uh, am I just jumping over there? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, two missile expansions right next to each other. <laughs> hey, okay. There. I guess that spot in there was meant to be in, uh, hidden, but I had the x-ray vision. But I needed to have that to get up here anyway. Wait. <laughs> I did actually land on one. Hey. Okay, well that was two of those right next to each other. I like it when I do it when you when I move down like this, you can see the little wiring thing that's normally covered up by parts of this. The HUD thing. Just That is cruel. That feels mean. <laughs> oh goodness. Shoot you. Okay, so we're going through here. Through to the Hall of the Elders. And that'll get us that upgrade. Uh that upgrade. I'm assuming artifacts. I'm assuming if I just shoot the red thing, I get the artifacts for it. Did that kill that? Oh my god, the plasma beam can actually kill those things. That plasma beam can actually kill invulnerable enemies. Holy freaking shit. I, I thought that was a red one. It may have been a blue one, and I'm like, over exaggerating over nothing. Am I missing anything else? Everything that I've written down, I've gotten. Everything that I've written down uh, is stuff that I've gotten. Except for maybe the hunter core or cave. Whatever's I've written there. And then there's just the red door that's in the security station of phase of phase on mines. But we'll be passing that and shooting it with our red gun once we're in there. Because we'll be going through that front entrance. I can take that back entrance that leads very close to where our main objective is. But I also know the other way to get around there now because I have the map of rolling the ball through. But I'll go the long way around just because there might be upgrades uh, going around the long way. So we'll go that way. Hey, maybe we'll come across the research thing, and that's where we'll find the corrupted person to kill for the other artifact. We've got a semblance of our various plans that we're taking here, of all the different things that we've got to go to. Oh, uh, there's a lot of them. Hi there. Oh my god. Oh, man. I appreciate that this game went, hey, do you want backtracking to be easier? Well, there you go. And I'm just, thank you. Hello. Yeah, you do. You do little dash around things. You do that. I'm up to 195 freaking missiles. What's the cap? I'm curious. Because it's not going to be 200. Because there's no way I've only missed one when I've still got game left to play. Actually, I'm curious. It says on... Wrong button. Okay, pressing at the pause menu. I'm up to 78% of items acquired. I mean, once I get all the artifacts, I can see just, oh, I've got this percentage of items left to get. I'm also just thinking in a perspective of how much more difficult would it be at this stage to get 100%. I mean, me getting 100% just on my own naturally probably won't happen. Because it would just require backtracking through every area to see the one or two upgrades that I've missed but I'm thinking if I get to a point where I'm like right I'm about to go into the end of the game so like we're essentially done like I'm not like I'm not just going to the end of the game we've got no more left to play I've done all the exploring that I can I've come up with every hidden thing that I can think of and I've gotten as many as I think I can get now that we're at that point should everyone just tell me where the last couple things that I'm missing are to get 100%? I've heard that collecting 100% items in this game has not, has a secret ending. And I'm thinking, if I'm two or three or even five items away from that, is it worthwhile going out of my way once I've finished my exploration aspect of the game? Like, once I'm at a point where I've found everything that I can think of, I'm not going to find any more without help. Um, Which way leads to the... That's energy core. That's the top one. The top one. Okay. Yeah, once I'm at a point where it's 
I found everything that I'm gonna find. Me finding more stuff would be fumbling around until I find it, which is not super entertaining. Should people just tell me the last couple of items that are left? <laughs> uh, made them go off early. Just so I can get the 100% ending. Well, as I've heard, there's three endings, and they're all apparently... Because I know the things about some of the earlier Metroids, where it's just like, Samus takes a tits out, or we'll get fucked by her robots, or we'll, like, have a sex scene with Zelda. Like, if, if you get enough items in the game and beat it fast enough. So, the moment I went into this going, oh, it's a blind playthrough, there's no fucking way I'm gonna get the best ending. Then people told me that it's only based on percentage complete, it's not based on time. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I might get, like, I probably won't get the best ending, um, but I might get close to the best ending because I'll probably get a bunch of things to scan and a bunch of the, um, items gathered. Then people told me scan actually has nothing to do with it. I've 100% already missed scanning everything because I missed scanning stuff on Frigate Orpheon. But apparently how much you've scanned also doesn't come into it in terms of actually unlocking endings. It's only item completion which you can't lock yourself out of getting 100%. So if I'm... If I get close enough to 100%, if I'm a couple items away, would people be interested in just telling me where the last couple items are to get 100% so I can get the secret ending? Because if it's just finding those last couple of items and that's it, I don't mind if that's spoiled for me overall, honestly. Like if it's just, oh here's like the two missile expansions that you missed, or the three that you missed, or whatever. If it's just that I'm being told, I'm not particularly fast because... If I'm ever gonna, like, it's not like it's gonna spoil it for the playthrough, because it'll only be once I finish everything in the playthrough that I'll even ask that. Like, once I get to the end of the game section before I actually beat the game. Uh, yeah, up here. So, it won't be spoiling anything for this playthrough, because it will stop that wouldn't happen in this playthrough unless I was being told. And if I play through the game again, um, in my own time ever, then I'm gonna forget those things that I'm gonna be told, so... It doesn't make too much of a difference. Didn't that- Oh, right, it activates a bomb thing in here. Which I do this, and then we can do that. I mean, I think if it's only a- Oh! Not what I was expecting. I was expecting that pipe thing to rotate again. Okay. Just a straight up new door. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, no. This one. Inwards we go. Artifacts. There it is. Hell yeah. We're getting artifacts. We're doing it. We're doing it. Artifacts acquired. Is this the artifact of Chozo? Artifact of World, the tenth of twelve. Not the one. The one in the Hall of Elders is not the artifact of Chozo. Uh, there we go. Plop. Hey, they they were nice enough to not have those enemies respawn. Thank you, game. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go back to my powered gun. It is really powerful. I like it. I like it for how powerful it is. Okay. So the plan at this stage is just... We're going up there. Alright, oh, i got to do this boost ball shit, which I'm apparently real bad at. Well, I got bad at in the... Fucking Christ. God damn it. <laughs> I feel the only reason these things are up here is to make it easy to get up here. So if you, like... You can just get swallowed up and you just go, um, and you're in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna go through here, we're gonna go back into the life grove. Well, there's apparently waters there that I've got to explore to, um, get an artifact that I missed in there. I think it said, do something in the waters, I'll have to reread it, but it was something in the waters in the life grove. We get that artifact, we go back to the phase on mines, and we save it in the phase on mines, and that should be the end for this current section. This whole session has just been leave phase on mines, get a bunch of shit, go back to the phase on mines. Uh, which is exactly what I was expecting it to be, so it's not like I'm bothered by that. It's like, it was exact. I, I, I'm doing this episode exactly what I was expecting to do, it just took longer than I expected it to. I mean, it was going back to the previous areas, I didn't expect it to be over two hours? Mainly because I wasn't expecting to go back to Pendrana because I wasn't expecting to get the plasma beam during this. I expected the final beam to be down in the phase on mines. But no, we had to leave the phase on mines to even get 
our next power up, so we'll go with it. Oh wait, right, we're going down, aren't we? No, the life grove's up the top. No, down is back to the is back to where we need to go. Up is actually where the life grove is. Right, 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 right. I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, up here is the fuck. Go up. <laughs> Why? Why are you switching on there? I'm on the same direction, it was going better. God damn it, god damn it. Spider Ball's gone fine. <laughs> uh yeah, I wasn't expecting to get the plasma beam today, so... Well, at least not until I went back to phase on. So, hey! It just means that I actually finished off Fendrana this episode, so... Whatever works. Gonna be fucking up there. Feel it! Get in there. Fucking goddammit. Get in there! Get in there! Fucking get in there! Mmm, get, getting annoyed, <laughs> getting antsy, getting frustrated. Get in there. Thank you. Goddamn. Okay, will the ghost reappear? So it said the waters, right? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, Grove of Life does things. What am I doing here? Uh, no. Life giver, warrior, no, it's down further. Chozo, this one. Reveal the pillar beneath the waves. Okay. That I can do. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah! I did see this and I completely fucking forgot about it. Jesus Christ. God damn it. I did see this and I completely forgot about it once the ghosts appeared. Fuck me. God damn it. What is that symbol? Does this even work underwater? It does. Okay, so... Because it doesn't even scan is what confuses me. Okay, actually now that I'm not fighting ghosties... Now that I'm not fighting ghosties... Did we pick up anything in this room once we blew this open? I'm not thinking about it. I blew this open, I fought the ghosties, and then I left. Did I pick up anything in here? Am I this much of an idiot that I just forget all this shit? God damn it. Yeah, I don't even know if I picked up anything in here once I actually went through the effort of getting into here. Oh, was I meant to be up there? Oh, that's how I get up there. Okay. Okay. There's something somewhere here, and it's got to do with that. Fucking really? There's a little switch there, but it, it doesn't let me scan the switch. So it's not just scanning, it's activated. But it doesn't even scan, uh, say, this connects to something else in this room. Scan something else somewhere else to activate the thing. It doesn't even say that. So... I'm curious. Okay, so doing this makes these things reappear. That's annoying. Okay, I'm back in the spot where they fought me. Cool, okay. Hello. Hello. Uh. Yeah. I didn't think the X-ray would help that much fighting these things, but no, it is actually a pretty big changer. I lose my radar, so I can't see where they are from a distance. But I can see where they run around. Hello. Really? You're just dancing there, you're not even attacking me or anything. <laughs> and now you're dead. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cause th Maybe they just didn't expect you to enter this room twice like a fucking moron. So they just figured, well, we don't have to, we can just make it re like appear twice. They didn't expect anyone to actually need to go do it twice. Because they figured, well, if you're here the first time, you'll get the thing. And then I'm like, but I didn't. I didn't get the thing at all. Can't. <laughs> I was getting excited. I saw something. I'm like, no. Actually, no. Uh... What about x-ray? I mean, this is where we got x-ray. Is there anything to do with it in here? I'm not seeing anything, actually. 
Well, I'm not seeing anything. There's this. Like, this is clearly it. I just don't know what it's asking me for. Power bomb, fuck it. Hey! That's what that was. <laughs> That's what that symbol meant. It was just a power bomb. Okay. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm spinning a clock down here. Look at it go, yeah. Look at it rotate around. Yeah, I never got anything once I blew open the wall. I should have realized that I was missing something in here. Ayo! Artifact! Uh, Re-entering this place like a tool. God damn it. It's fine. Can I jump up that high just from here? Oh. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, what? Oh. Can this lead me up high enough? I made that jump. Ah, there we go! Artifact acquired! Yay! Acquired! Artifact of- that's the artifact of Chozo. There we go. Hell yeah. So now part of me's thinking, I want to go back to... the impact crater now. To hand in those things to find- to get more hints. But I feel it's going to be really out of the way. <laughs> like, really out of the way. Well, actually, where did this go to? Because the pathway, that's the elevator there. And this is... Oh, no, this is through the whole freaking this thing. Okay, so it's either go through this entire thing, which, no. Or teleport back to Chozo to go around to the impact crater, which also, no. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that now, then, because that's actually really out of the way. This part of Talon Overworld... Oh, right. I'm I've got to climb around here to drop in the top to get there. This part of Talon Overworld is very isolated from the other parts of Talon Overworld because it's long distances between them. But there's no quick access from this area to the rest of Talon Overworld. You either got to go through the entire Frigate Orphe- You're essentially going through Frigate Orpheon again, or you got to go through Chozo Ruins. So, none of that is not time consuming, so we won't worry about it for now. We'll head back there. Well, I might be getting another artifact while I'm down in Phase on Mines, because the hint has another thing for Phase on Mines. Saying the research base with something there. So, hey. We'll get another one while we're there, so we can come back and get more hints then. So. Not too big of a deal. Oh, right. God damn it. I hate this thing so much! <laughs> I've done this twice today. It's annoying. <laughs> get in there. Fuck, damn it. I'm, why am I so bad at these today? Fuck you. I mean, this one's bad just because it's got all the shit around it. That makes it just... You can clip onto stuff and it slows you down annoyingly, but... Still. Okay, so through here, we're going... Down. <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. I'm going down this way. I'm ignoring all of yous. I'm going this way. To the one that's above water. Which is down. There we go. We're going through this and we're going back to phase on mines. I guess we can make a little boost with your kicky little things, I guess. There we go. You'll give me the warning saying, Hi, radiation detected. Yep. Radiation detected. Okay. Fuck off. Damn it. Okay, so we'll go in here, we'll save it in the spot that's in here, and then we'll be right back where we started this session, which is. Four episodes long, so where we were well actually for you watching it, where we were a week ago. Jesus, a week ago, wow. <laughs> I was just I'm referring things to oh we're back to where we started. Where for you it's where we were a week ago. <laughs> that disconnect is weird. There's probably a, a noticeable difference in ever since I've started recording videos in sessions where I just record multiple videos at once. Um like, in a single go and just cut them out later, as opposed to not doing that, where I would record every in episode individually. I refer to sessions a lot more, and doing things like that. And you've probably noticed a bit of a change in how I refer to things, so I'm just noticing weird little changes like that, where it's probably very weird for you to hear. This is like, a week ago, uh, like, early, like, back to where we started, you mean four episodes ago? Or the start of, like, four episodes ago, where you're now here, and it's just, yeah. But hey, 
with that, that is a shitload of backtracking done and everything that I have written down, except for mine security station, red door, and whatever we've got for the artifacts, which I haven't written down, which I will do that soon, just so I can re remember if something, if I'm passing something that remember, jogs my memory, I'm like, oh yeah, here was a thing. Um, then, hey, that is all of our backtracking that I have written down, done. That's the wrong thing. That is pretty good. That is a successful day. That is two powerbomb upgrades. However many artifacts, I've lost count of how many. There's only four artifacts left to get, actually. I wasn't going to fair few today. Actually, I think I've only got hints for the tower and the mines, I think. Yeah, the tower and the research mines. And then the other two I don't have hints for. <laughs> okay, there's actually only four artifacts left. I thought there was more than that. Wow, I must have gotten a fair few artifacts today, jeez. Um, so yeah, a bunch of artifacts, two power bomb expansions, and however many missiles, the eye laser thing, the ice spreader, and a new freaking beam, which I was not expecting. I wasn't expecting... I appreciate the way that this... The way that I did this backtracking in terms of, like, oh, well, I don't have the... I don't have the melty stuff for a lot of Fendrana, so I won't worry about going to Fendrana. I'll go to Chozo Ruins and then Magmal Caverns, and it was easy to get from one of those to the other to go along all Magmal Caverns, and then I got the thing from Magmal Caverns of, oh, oh, hey, I've got the Melty Gun, and I got that Melty Gun very close to the entrance to Fendrana, where I did a little circle at the end, and then went back to the other exit from Fendrana, which led us fairly, which led us into Magmal Caverns, um, which led very close to the exit that was to the thing in Talon Overlord, it was very easy to go from one to the next. Like, it wasn't, oh, I got the X-ray visor, go across the world. Or it wasn't, oh, I got the plasma beam, go across the world. Like, where I got the plasma beam was two rooms over from where I started going through Fendrana. Like, it's they're laid out in an order, so I essentially just did a lap of most of the overworld, and I didn't have to jump between spelts of the overworld that much, or travel that far distances in the overworld. I'm just noticing how smooth that adventure of picking up all of those things, and getting a new upgrade that let us pick up the rest of those things, how smooth that journey was. Like, it feels very deliberate where things were placed in terms of... It's similar to when, um, with the spider ball, where... We saw a bunch of spider ball tracks in Chozo Ruins, and we got okay, so we know there's a bunch of spider ball stuff here. And there was a couple spider ball tracks that were in other areas, but most of it was in Chozo. So it stands out, spider ball's a, um, a good place to go to the Chozo Ruins with. And it was in Chozo Ruins where we'd use the spider ball to get the next upgrade. Just, like, things like that, where... And it makes it stand out that a lot of stuff in Vendrana is stuff that you melt with the heat beam. So when you get the grappling hook and the um, power bomb, you immediately want to go, oh, I want to get all those things, but I won't go to Vendrana now because I've got to melt stuff, so whatever. And then on on one of the other areas where you get that stuff um, that you've got with the grappling hook and power bomb, you then get the thing to get the rest of the stuff in Fendrana. Like, it was a very smooth journey to go do all that. And it feels deliberate how it was laid out to mentally make you want to go to these places first, provide the power-ups there, and in the spots where it made it easy to get to the other places. Just, it was a very smooth journey to go finish up everything just then. And even with the plasma beam, with in the Hall of the Elders, where it's like, oh, shit, there's something that was at the plasma beam all the way back in Chozo Ruins. But where it was in Chozo Ruins? Very close to the entrance back to here for Phase on Mines. It's just a very smooth journey all around, and mwah, 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 mwah. A lot of backtracking done to a lot of things while getting main progression and it being a smooth loop all around. It feels very deliberate how smooth that journey was, and it's great. I love it. Point is, on the next episode, we won't be backtracking. We'll be going down to the third layer down of Phase on Mines and doing shit there. Or, well, the next episode will probably be getting to that point because I'm slow, and then the episode after that will probably be actually done. Whatever. Point is, next episode is back to Phase on Mines, back to new areas to explore, as opposed to the last four episodes. So, until then, this is version 2, signing out.